Okay, here we are, leaving the Cracker Barrel. Okay, last leg from White Pass to Snoqualmie. Here's the start. Here's the trail. Good morning. Um, it's day 13. Uh, we're back on trail. We took a day off yesterday, which was much needed. Um, we rolled into White Pass on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, sometime around 1, I think, 1231. Um, and I just wasn't feeling it on Wednesday. And I actually ended up pretty sick on Wednesday afternoon, evening. So it was good to take yesterday off to make sure but that really wasn't anything. Um, and then truly we contemplated and we bounced back and forth of, do we just call it there at White Pass? Do we make it two days down the trail to Chinook Pass? Um, or do we just finish this thing out to Snoqualmie? Um, as of right now, we're pulling out at Snoqualmie. Um, so we got another hmm, six, six and a half days on the on the trail which will be good i think we're both ready for it um looking forward to it really looking forward to chinook and like tipsu area just because i remember like tipsu as a kid and ron i've been here a couple of times um and chinook pass is cool um and with views of rainier and we'll bounce in and out of rainier national park um, the trail doesn't take you by Rainier quite like it does Adams, um, but you do have some pretty good views. So we've got to climb this morning. This section really, looking at the map, it doesn't look to be all that bad. It should be pretty manageable. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Those are famous last words, right? So um, we finally ran back into Techno and Justin, and that was pretty cool at White Pass yesterday, so we got to hang out with them. We were hiking around them before Trout Lake, and then we all kind of um, got separated at the section between Trout Lake and White Pass, and so we met up again. And so we'll probably be bouncing around them again for the first few days, but they're putting on way more miles than we are. Um, so, like, I think Justin told Roy he did two 26 mile days back to back. We're not doing that. So, um, it's good. It was good to see them. Um, so I think that's it for now. We'll check back in as things come up.
And here is our junction. This is 150 miles we've hiked. Yeah, 150 miles, pretty cool. Um, we'll break 200 by the time this trail's done. By the time we're done. By the time we're done. Can't stand too long. Skiers. You can't jump. There are mosquitoes, so 150. So here we're getting our cold soaks ready. Uh, we're both having couscous today. Um, how that works is you put a little water in your, you use Talenti jars, and uh, while you're walking, the, they soak. It works for couscous and ramen and things like that. By the time you're ready to eat, you just eat it right out of the can. No, no need for cooking. So this whole area through here is just a bunch of little lakes and wildflowers and meadows. It's pretty cool. And this trail looks like it's like part of some little garden. Very easy to walk on. Pretty cruisy day today. And the, uh, the forest is just beautiful through here. I like this all day long.
So this beautiful little stream here is our water source for the day. The main water source. And nice and cold. We stopped, camelled up a little bit, and uh, now we're headed out. Nice cold water. Look at that. Gotta get it on video, right? It's cold. All right, so here's our tent site for the night. Kind of perched up here on this ridge, um, just below Crag Lake. Um, dinner is almost ready. There's Kathy, ready. Here's another view right off of our campsite. Watch that last step, it's a doozy.